Hello Cosmic Soul, welcome back to our weekly cosmic journey spanning from February 11th to the 17th. Let's dive into the celestial currents together, unraveling stories that speak to the heart of personal and business growth. So this week, again, we are going to talk about the cosmic insights for soulful entrepreneurs. This is a week if I can summarize everything in one phrase, um, this is a week where we embrace transformation and strategic growth. So what are the dialogues between the planets? What does their cosmic dance tell us? And as we usually do, we are going to start our week with lunar wisdom. So everything kicks off with a gentle crescent moon gliding through Pisces before taking a bold leap into fiery Aries. Remember also that this is an Aquarian lunation, so a lunation goes from new moon to new moon, and it, uh, it started with the new moon in Aquarius. So this is uh, a, a path that lights up our projects in a way where we can envision our future and everything that we want uh, to create in our life. And combining this with the crescent moon uh, in Pisces, this is a moment where we can really take a time to slow down, to recharge, and let our imaginations run wild. Trust those intuitive nudges that you're getting, indulge in activities that light up your soul, that are really, really deeply meaningful to you. Then uh, the moon is going to continue its course, growing in its power, growing in, in the light it, it reflects. And then it goes into the transition uh, to Aries. So in this, um, in this phase, the moon is really guiding us towards being innovative, but also being revolutionaries and taking a lot of initiative and being, um, being bold in our actions, in our entrepreneurial endeavors. As the week continues to unfold, the moon uh, waxes into its first quarter in, uh, that's closer to the end of the week. It's going to be a uh, first quarter in the steadfast Taurus, inviting us to really roll up our sleeves and tackle obstacles with a lot of determination. This is a moment with the first quarter in Taurus where we can focus on refining our plans and making steady progress, maybe slow, not too fast. There are going to be slow progress, but there are going to be um, steady. It's going to have a good foundation, particularly in areas related to the material abundance, because this is all Taurus, material abundance and the things that you value most in life. What happens also during this week is that Mercury is going to be in Aquarius. And this means that um, we're going to our conversations are going to light up. We're going to spark a lot of lively conversations, especially when Jupiter in Taurus um, is joining uh, Mercury and is tearing up the pot. It's a time for big ideas and bold visions. Uh, but the only thing that I really recommend is don't let overconfidence lead you astray. Seek guidance from trusted mentors and advisors if you need to. Ask for help if you need to. Okay, stay grounded in your wisdom. Don't 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 be arrogant. I think is the the right um, the right quality here. Um, be humble and just don't be overconfident. Uh, because this can happen with this, this powerful Jupiter and the combination with uh, Mercury. It's important for you to think before you speak. Okay, remember to choose 
the right time to express your ideas. Uh, it doesn't mean because it's, an, it's my idea uh, that is going to be the right time to express it. It's going to be the right time to share. By the end of the week, the moon also unites in this uh, in this dialogue from Mercury between Mercury and Jupiter, and then it brings like that communication uh, is going to be more compassionate. It's going to be more nurturing, and there's going to be calmness in the way we express ourselves and in our opinions. So that's a good thing. Mars. Also, this week is something very important that marks this week, that Mars is going to be in Aquarius and is going to be from February 16th until March 22nd. This is going to infuse us with a lot of strategic vision and uh, a lot of forward-thinking energy. This cosmic shift is like a rocket fuel for your ambitions, uh, empowering you to lead with innovation and embrace change. So this is a very good time, Cosmic Soul, if you are an entrepreneur, to use this transit to lead with innovation and drive positive change in your endeavors, in your business, in your career. Just remember, it's important to evaluate risks before diving in headfirst. Venus is going also to play a role. This is a week where there, there is a lot of things going on. So Venus is going to join um, Mars also in Aquarius uh, from February 16th until March 11th. So Venus is going, is going to um, move us into embody the essence of the revolu revolutionary woman advocating for freedom, advocating for equality, and embracing authenticity in our entrepreneurial endeavors. Together with Mars, this is feminine and masculine energy joining together, so we're gonna, it's going to be very balanced. Together with Mars, this cosmic duo ignites a lot of passion and creativity in everything that you do, inspiring you to pursue your boldest dreams with unwavering determination and with a lot of creativity. Let's remember that Venus there is also the planet that relates to creativity. Then we have we have Pluto and this is important because Mars, Venus and Pluto are going to be aligned together in Aquarius. Yes, and this is going to be a potent blend of energy that is going to be waiting for us. Starting um, Mars and Pluto, they're going to join together in um, on the 15th and Venus is going to do it on the 16th. So, this convergence signals a surge of ambition and drive. When you, when Mars and Pluto join together, these are two very powerful, um, powerful planets, okay? It's crucial here to channel this intensity in a positive way into positive endeavors. Avoiding the urge to overpower others, avoiding the urge to maybe abuse power or to uh, get angry uh, because that, that could happen. There's a lot of energy and other people can be like that. So if you know that someone, how do you say this in English? There must be a phrase. Uh, in Spanish, we say... Uh, when someone has a mecha corta, so it's like, um, you know, the, the, the candle that you can light up uh, with fire. When it's very short, uh, it, it lights up like, I don't know, it lights up quick. There must be an expression like that in English, I think. But I, I can't recall. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what it is. So, anyways... So if you know that someone is like that, that gets angry and gets frustrated very easily, maybe 
you know, during Mars and Pluto, you could avoid uh, certain encounters uh, that can lead to aggressivity or anger or frustration, anything like that. Um, just for a few days. But I think truly that Venus joining in is really calming things down it's gonna bring a lot of more more of the feminine energy more of the um, love and compassion into the into this into this cosmic dance that is happening between mars and pluto and venus coming in and say hey guys come on chill let's this is all love let's calm down let's talk things through that's kind of like how i envision the whole situation with venus joining in all right so to finish up with what i was telling you about mars and pluto in aquarius so Use all of this energy in a positive way. So strategize your actions wisely, knowing that every move you make now really holds also a lot of potential for significant outcomes. So use this energy in a positive way. Then with Venus influence, there is a gentle reminder to also seek liberation in relationships and to release maybe outdated societal norms it's a great time also to embrace abundance in all aspects of our life knowing that plutus has a promise and his promise is really to empower ourselves and to fulfill wishes and empower individuals to reclaim their power this cosmic alignment invites us to really pursue our dreams boldly while fostering a sense of fulfillment and happiness so what are some recommendations, entrepreneurial recommendations that I have for you, soulful business entrepreneur? So first of all, allow your intuition to guide your strategic decisions this week. Let your intuition guide you to initiate new projects or ventures with a lot of enthusiasm and courage. Number two. Maintain a balance between ambition and practicality. While your ideas may soar to great heights, ensure they are grounded in realistic plans and feasible strategies. I also recommend number three, that you lead with a vision for positive change and to collaborate with like-minded people, like-minded individuals or group. This is great for all of that, you know, part of that Aquarian energy, collaboration with groups. Number four, pr learn to prioritize your freedom, authenticity, and community in, uh, in your endeavors. Focus on building relationships based on mutual respect and shared values, both within your business and with your audience. Number five, infuse your projects with excitement and enthusiasm and explore new ways to express your creativity. And then number six, focus on setting clear intentions for your business. Have clear goals and trust in your ability to manifest them into reality. Reclaim your power and share your gifts with the world thank you very much for listening uh, cosmic soul remember that you're magic and remember also to follow me on tiktok instagram and youtube and if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me because you have uh, business questions you want business guidance you want to understand what your sacred business blueprint is visit my website lauratia.com and you will find uh, a service that suits you. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid and drop me a line. Okay. Thank you very much for listening and see you next time.